What we have here is a Java mail client. This big block of code is declaring items for our user interface. The next block of code is setting the position for our panels in our GUI. Then we have the listeners for our required fields, such as mail server, sender, and receiver. If one is not entered, then the screen will print out a warning. Otherwise, the client takes in the text, checks if the sender and receiver are valid. Then the client calls the envelope class and tries to package and send the message envelope class is over here. And sets up the message. Then after that's set up, and there's no errors from the input, in the message class, everything was typed in correctly. Then it calls the SMTP connection.java class. When this is called, the SMTP connection is created with the SMTP connection class and a socket is set up, then a stream is set up to read and uh, write to the socket, we will be connected over the default SMTP port 25. And if our server responds OK, then we go through the SMTP handshake. Then we send the message. Then we simply close the SMT connection, and then we close the socket. If I hit run now, we can see the graphical user interface. We type in SM, SMTP. Dot SNET NET an email address another email address some subject like hello and we'll message hey and see if we can send this message over the smtsnet.net server. So we click send. And 
We were not able to send the message because the connection was refused by the SNET.NET server.